Hey, I'm Morgan Rose. I play in the band Seven Dust. I have been with Vader since 2000. It's like 10 years. Jesus Christ. We've been on the road since 1997, pretty much straight. I mean, I know we've had a few months, a year that, you know, if you really were to add them all together, it's got to be less than a year in the last 13 that we've been home. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things. It's like when you get into it, this is the dream. Everything is, you know, there's collateral damage that comes with this gig. And, uh, you know, I've lost two, two, uh, two marriages over it. And, uh, I have two wonderful kids, and I get along with both of the women that I've that I've divorced. But uh, you know, it's one of those things. It's not a uh, it's not the easiest gig in the world. It's a kid's world out here. Uh, I always said that, and and Tommy agreed with this, is that the minute that you hit the road, your growth is stunted immediately. So if you're 18 when you leave to go on the road and you're out there for however long, whenever you stop, you're still 18 years old mentally because the life that we live out here is, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sure some people will disagree with that and you know they can sit there and get their Wall Street you know, news in the bus if they want, but 90% of us don't do that. And uh, you know, there's just a different mentality. You become institutionalized and it's not that you have to party every day or do anything like that, but it's just a way of life, just surviving on the road, being away from your family, being away from your kids, your wives, your girlfriends. You know, the grind that comes with getting not enough sleep and uh, in my case, beating your body to death, uh, you know, takes its toll. So I'm, I'm impressed with the fact that I'm still walking around here. I think I'm all right. Are you I don't think that I'm in the minority for drummers. Uh, there's guys that play correctly that have major wrist issues and have, you know, serious tendonitis and, you know, God bless them, you know, they, they get the carpal and stuff like that. I've never had any of those issues. Uh, I've had like football player issues, you know, like AC joints that are separated and rotator cuff issues on both arms. and you know, back issues that have, you know, I mean, it's, I've gone to the, the best doctors that money can buy and they've told me that when I'm 50, you know, I won't be able to walk normal and that this is going to wear on me like a football player feels it when he's 60 and 70 years old and you see these guys hobbling around. I just can't stop it. You know, this is, I've tried, my girl begs me to stop. I've, I've had my mother in tears over watching me do what I do, and it's just, this is how I do it. And there's no other way for me to do it. I, I will never go out having people say, oh man, look at, he's going down. I'll take my cortisone shots. Uh, I don't take pills, so don't have to worry about that. I never like those pills, but I do take those shots. and. Uh, you know, I'll continue to do whatever I got to do to maintain out here until I can't do it anymore. And lately it hadn't been that bad. Uh, I worked on trying to, to do things, cross training exercises to, to strengthen different areas of my body to, to be okay with, uh, with some of the things that I do up there. But there's really no cross training exercise for going through a 40 mile an hour car wreck every day and that's basically what I'm doing so if you want to jam like like I do you know God bless you <laughs> and I'm not saying that there's anything special about me I'm just saying I would advise different <laughs> The 
the music industry is like in the weirdest place that that it's ever been in, you know, and it's weird that, you know, and it makes me feel a little old by saying that we were we were selling cassettes when we first came out. I remember I think we sold like 60,000 copies in, in cassette form of our first record. And I think we released two or three records on cassette and now CDs are almost obsolete. So we've almost lived through, you know, almost you know, I mean, half of, of the ways of, of purchasing music. And, uh, you know, now the record labels are scrambling. People are freaking out. I mean, how are you going to be able to make money off of bands when people aren't buying records? And that's where 360s came from, and that's where, you know, the record labels come in and they'll get your merch and they'll get your live and they'll get your publishing and they'll do all that. I don't know who it was that came up with the whole, the whole, you know, blueprint of how they were going to just murder bands. Record labels moved into a, you know, kind of a, a panic defense mode and and started signing bands to 360s. That's where, that's where the record labels are at right now. And uh, and you know they had their day. I mean, they made a whole lot of money. I mean, I can tell you right off the bat that the record label that we signed with on our first record, I don't know how they went bankrupt because they made like 36 million dollars off of us and I can tell you right now, you know how much money I made off of that? Zip. I didn't make a penny. We sold, you know, four, five, six, seven million records for them. I mean, who knows? Who knows what was going on in that back door and what they were selling them as. I mean, we were distributed through our record company. There's no telling what was going on in there, but I know that uh, you know, we made them a lot of money, tens of millions of dollars, and uh, and we didn't make a nickel. Our world was making our money off of playing live and merchandise, and uh, and our publishing, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there. So, you know, it's really weird. I mean, we signed a deal after that, where we have a, a situation where we have a deal where we get paid on record sales and. It's kind of the Seven Dust law, like Murphy's law, you know, like Seven Dust signs this really cool deal where they can get paid off of albums, but nobody wants to buy records anymore. So it's almost like we get a large percentage of very little when we had a zero percentage of the world. I mean, we had the world in our hands and, and most bands did. So, uh, you know, we're, we're lucky to be moving. We've, uh, we've accomplished way more than we ever, ever dream that we could have and uh, and we've persevered through being murdered in this industry I mean you know and a lot of bands don't survive it people ask us all the time and we just kind of looked at it like you know, you've got no choice I mean we put all the eggs in this basket and you want to do it you got to put all the eggs in this basket and I feel bad for the new people that are coming out I feel horrible for the kids that are starting to play in bands and dreaming of doing this for a living it's like don't ever think that you're gonna get rich. You know, there's, I might end up being really rich off of this, but don't you ever think about being rich because the deals aren't set up for that anymore. There are no more $15 million 360 deals. There are no more million dollar advances. There is no more bands coming out selling 10 million records. I mean, it just doesn't happen. And it's like sad. I look at it like that feeling that I had when I was a kid of, you know, opening an album and looking at it and, you know, seeing what, you know, everybody looked like and, you know, look, reading the liner notes and the lyrics and investing that eight bucks in an album and going to the show that came around once a year and seeing the concert in an arena atmosphere and buying a t-shirt for 15 bucks or whatever and investing everything in this band and having that loyalty is out of here. I mean, Facebook or MySpace and YouTube has made it to where everybody's a rock star. Nobody's a rock star anymore. 
I mean, it's amazing. It's like they will never be able to feel that feeling that we had when we were kids. And sorry, because that shit was awesome. Thanks for checking this out. Make sure you go to vader.com for all your percussion essentials.